If you're someone who's struggling to build awareness for your startup and find it hard to build a solid online presence, don't worry, I've been there myself. I know what it feels like to have zero visibility online and not being able to generate any new customers and just overall having it suck not seeing your startup scale and grow. I was able to go from that to generating thousands of inbound leads and generate hundreds of paying customers through a simple three-step framework that I have developed over the years. So in this video, I'll share with you that for free. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and stick along. Hey, my name is Kieran and over five years ago, I started marketing my online business to get the word out there about my services, generate leads and ultimately sales and new clients. And during that time, I have generated hundreds of paying clients and thousands of sales leads for my business using a variety of strategies from email outreach, paid advertising, Facebook groups, networking and organic content, just to name a few. So in this video, I'll share with you how to start marketing your startup business, even if you've no online presence, along with the best tools to use and the pitfalls to avoid. Now, digital marketing or marketing your startup business online allows people to become aware of you and your business and your services and products. And if done right, that awareness can lead to real traction. That means signups, customers, revenue growth, and real scale. Many startup founders are under the false illusion that if they build an amazing product, people will naturally come and use it. But that's not always the case. You still need to make people aware that your product exists in the first place. And that's done through getting the word out about it. And the best means to do that is through digital media, such as article, paid adverts, video content, social media posts, and so on. For example, Elon Musk and Tesla have become household names because they appear in your newsfeed every single day. They've made the world aware that they exist and sure they do amazing things, but they let you know about it every single day through digital media. And I love this quote by KB Marketing Agency. Ignoring online marketing is like opening a business, but not telling anyone. And truly the payoff for effective digital marketing is immense. Your one social media post one viral video, one paid ad away from gaining mass exposure for your startup and even explosive growth. And I know because over two years ago, I wrote one paid advert on Facebook and that one paid advertisement has generated me dozens of paying clients for my business and recurring revenue also. And that's the payoff for marketing yourself well online. You can reach a global audience right from the confines of your office and that can't be ignored. Now at this stage, you might be wondering, you know, where do I start? Or what are the best digital marketing tactics to use for my startup? Well, the first step is not to dive into tactics. The first step is actually to define your goals, then get clear on your strategy. And then last but not least, get clear on the tactics that you wanna use. So tactics come last. Now, most startups have this in reverse. When starting out with digital marketing, many new startups are really scattered, jumping from one marketing tactic to the next without any cohesive direction. Their approach can be compared to throwing stuff against the wall and seeing what sticks. They lack a clear overarching strategy and jump from one marketing tactic to the next without seeing any meaningful results. So one month they're doing LinkedIn, another month they're creating YouTube videos, and the next they're blogging on their website and, and then they see another tactic from another guru who says, you know, I can get you hundreds of leads every single month. So then they're running with paid advertising. So there's no real plan or strategy behind it all. And while tactics are essential for execution, they must be guided by a well-defined strategy to ensure alignment, efficiency, effectiveness for achieving overall marketing goals for the startup. So here's a three-step action plan to ensure digital marketing success in your startup. So number one, get clear on your goals. So a goal is the object of a person's ambition or effort and aim or desired result. For example, the goal in your startup might be getting, you know, its first 10 subscribers for your SaaS product or getting your first consulting client in Q1. Whatever the goal is, it's essential to define it and write it down. Then you can start aligning your strategy plan, your tactics, with that said goal. In other words, you'll start to do the things that make that goal possible. And more importantly, not do the unimportant things that are unconducive for achieving that goal. Alignment is a key word in this whole process. And that's a word that's touted a lot by Salesforce CEO, Mark Benioff. He uses his proprietary V2 mom process to get aligned on goals and strategies. And alignment basically means your team are working on the right things to achieve the company's overarching goals. It also allows you to track and measure your team's progress against those goals. So the second thing is set the strategy. 
So once you've defined your goal, i.e. your desired aim or your result, it's then time to finalize your marketing strategy plan. And your strategy is a high level plan or, or like overarching approach to achieve that specific goal. And it involves making decisions about the overall direction and positioning of your business. For example, it might be declaring your target customer as small accounting businesses or startup founders. And it might involve getting clear on the offer that you're gonna bring and sell to the market as well. And going through this top down process, setting goals and then the strategy will make you become more clear in what tactic to implement and almost as importantly in what not to do. Number three, define the tactics. So tactics are more focused on details and they're the specific steps to execute your strategy. In digital marketing, that might be the mechanics of running your paid advertising campaigns, how to structure your ads, the type of ads to run, what budgets to allocate, you know, the funnel that you're going to use, how you're going to nurture leads, and the tools you're going to utilize to make it all happen. So in summary, your goals are the objective, the strategy is the overarching plan that guides your digital marketing efforts, and then tactics are the specific steps to implement your strategy plan. So while tactics are essential for execution, they must be guided by a well-defined strategy as all three aspects heighten your probability of success. And just a quick announcement, if you want a free console with me to see if I can help you with getting more customers or even putting together a sound marketing strategy plan for you, then you can click the link in the description of this video and book in your free diagnostics call. So what are the first steps to take if you have no online presence for your startup. So if I had a startup business with zero online presence, here's exactly what I do. Number one, create a simple one page website. Don't waste time on this. There's loads of really good uh, website providers right now from Shopify, Squarespace, Wix. You don't have to get super complicated and create something very complex with something like WordPress. And on that website, basically what you're gonna do at a high level is showcase to the world the problems that you solve, how you're different to everybody else, the main benefits of working with you, a little bit about your services and how you'd work together and the engagement model, and also embed within that a page as well, a mechanism to capture leads. So that might be a call booking form like Calendly or even a jot form form to capture leads. But don't waste time, just create something really, really simple. You can just create a simple one page website. It doesn't have to be anything extensive. If you have case studies, put them on there as well. They will give you a lot of social proof. People love to see other people like themselves getting results that they want to achieve themselves. So embed them in there also. Number two, sign up for Calendly or any call booking tool. So what that will allow you to do is allow you to facilitate demos or discovery calls where people can book calls with you and understand what it looks like working together. You can showcase a bit about, let's say your SaaS product or your software and answer any questions that they have also. And most importantly, you can capture new paying clients through this process. Number three, pick one social media platform and create content every single day. So social media gives us a great platform to reach people on a global scale. People spend two and a half hours approximately every single day on their smartphones and social media is just a great means to reach those people. People. So just pick one platform. There's only five of the main big ones, TikTok, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Twitter, or a form now known as X, Instagram. If you're just starting out, avoid choosing all of them. Just pick the one that's most relevant to your target audience and create content on there every single day. So by creating content every single day on these platforms, you're gonna to start to learn what works versus what doesn't work. And once you start to learn what works on one specific algorithm, you're gonna gain exponential reach on there as well. Number four, create a lead magnet. So lead magnet is a almost like a free giveaway or a bait to, for people to opt in to your newsletter. So it's like a free giveaway based on your target customer's biggest pain point or problem. So for example, if your target customer's biggest problem is optimizing their CRM, then you can create a, just a simple one page cheat sheet showing people how to best optimize their CRM for success. And by doing that, by creating a lead magnet where people have to you know, opt in to get this free piece of content, you're then building your email list full of relevant contacts. And through that email list, then you can start to send nurturing sequences, such as educational content, value videos, case studies, insights, different perspectives. And that then will showcase your competence to your ideal customer and also build trust and social proof. And through that, then there's a greater probability 
probability of them working with you, availing of your services and buying your products. Now I wanna take this opportunity to talk about the most common pitfalls to avoid when digital marketing for your startup. The first one is getting lost in a CRM. So if you're an early stage startup with not a whole lot of lead volume and not a whole lot of leads coming through, uh, I would avoid actually even thinking about setting up a CRM. Um, there's this whole myth in this industry that you absolutely need a CRM. You need Salesforce, you need some other high level fancy CRM. But if you're not processing a whole lot of leads every month, there really is no need for it. Sure, you might need it in the future when you have a Salesforce, but if you're only processing a dozen leads every single month, you can make use with something really simple like a customized spreadsheet or a Google Sheet to record leads. Now, you might think this is completely against the grain or totally archaic, but I know people who are doing eight figures every single year using a simple Google Sheets. And the problem with the CRM is not, the, not so much the recurring price of the CRM itself, the biggest problem that I have with CRM is wasted time. So startups waste an inordinate amount of time setting up these CRMs, customizing them, trying to get everyone in their team to use them, and they could be better off using that time creating marketing content to attract leads or even prospecting for customers. You do not make money playing the disc jockey in a CRM. So at the early stage of your startup, when you're just starting out, keep it really, really simple. The second pitfall to avoid is to avoid the allure of paid advertising. Now paid advertising can be amazing. The ability to get your marketing message and your sales message out there in front of thousands of people in the space of a few hours or a few days. But when you're just starting out, when you don't have, let's say the first few customers, you then don't really have a validated offer in that. And what I mean by that is that you have a specific segment of the market who's buying your product and as well, who are also getting results from your product. Now, once you have that, once you have that market validation, by all means, go to paid advertising, start running some ads and seeing if you, and see if you can scale the whole thing up. But at the early stage, it's good to get the first few customers by non-paid advertising means. It will save you a whole lot of time and money. So the third biggest pitfall is to avoid focusing on too many marketing channels. Most startups naturally set up an Instagram page, YouTube channel, a Facebook page, and it's the worst thing to do because they are all their own beasts. They all take a lot of investment to start getting yield out of them, i.e. quality inbound leads. So the figure of the best channel that works for you, probably the one where your target customer spends the most time on and just double down on that one channel and absolutely master it, master its algorithms. So number four, creating an overly complex marketing landscape. This ties into my first point about setting up CRMs and also focusing on too many marketing channels. A lot of people, they just create overly complex marketing landscapes. You know, they're doing absolutely everything from marketing, running CRMs, signing up for software tools. It, marketing for your new startup should be really quite simple. You should just have one marketing channel, one email automation tool to capture inbound contacts, one tool for a call booking form like Calendly, Schedule Once, or Microsoft Teams. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, you should just be creating content every single day to generate inbound leads. So my tip to start dominating digital marketing for your startup is to avoid quick hacks and instead embrace Kaizen, which is the Japanese philosophy of continuous improvement. You're not going to crack it in the first week, but if you just make every single thing better every single week for a few months, you'll start to crack this whole thing and you'll start to see inbound leads flow in and you'll start to see them exponentially come in the more you focus on making everything 1% better. So what do I mean by that? I mean, so if you're creating YouTube videos, make the next YouTube video a little bit better, make the thumbnail a little bit better, make the hook a little bit better, make the content a little bit better, make your email automations a little bit better, try to improve the open rate of your emails by dialing in the subject line or for the inbound leads that you do get through your marketing, try to make your follow-up sequences a bit better. Try to improve your call booking rate. Just focus on making everything better and also seek out expert mentorship and guidance because they will just fast track the whole thing for you. Try to figure out the people who are already generating hundreds of leads already online and just hack their approach and that will fast track everything for you. It'll just speed up the time it takes for you to get results. And as a final word, if you wanna have a free consult with me to see if I can help you with marketing your startup and getting more inbound leads to facilitate that scale and growth, then you can book in a free diagnostics call using the link in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you the next time.